I'll hold it now. What's up? Yeah, what's up, Kai? Oh my god. In the tone zone? I'm, oh my god. I'm looking forward to this set because. Uh, not that there's bad blood, but boy howdy, is this a rivalry. This is the set of the tournament so far, I would say. This is uh, C2 and C3, so for all of you Josh Man only heads, uh, this is the next best thing that we have. Oh, and we got the shout out Don B tag. I love that. Oh yeah. yeah this is the next, next best thing that we have in Australia. Uh, Correctly calling being in the tone zone, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Goody from Victoria. Absolutely uh, cracked and jacked Fox. You may have heard recently reset the bracket on Josh's path. So uh, if you're looking for a sign of how good Goody is, that is because Josh's mouth. And All right, here we go. McLeod, an absolute peach phenom from Adelaide, and she is just one of the most uh, one of the most hardworking players in the world. Always looking to learn, always looking to adjust her gameplay, uh, and the uh, the innovator of the hedge hedge dash. Yeah, right. Like really the sort of first time that we as a community as a collective really got to see it um, you know be used in a tournament setting it's like it was it used to be just this thing that like you know oh well, who's gonna do that in tournament it's only theory it's only like pass only right yeah. all these excuses meant nothing to McLeod and just decided I'm gonna learn it and yeah we can talk about like using the smashbox binds like uh, angles or whatever right, at the time but like the thing was is that she still was doing it um, not only on controller but is still going for it on the frame one yeah, so it's on a, you know kind of stock standard frame one light right now I believe. yeah so always oh, open it's an open frame one. Oh, yeah yep so like you can flash it right but like it's uh it's all regulation all right yeah, we're yeah. above board here skip regulation you know the, the code is open source we know what's going on inside the rectangle we know what each button does it's good she's just good at the game. Yeah, look, just take our word for it, okay? Trust, just source, trust me. Um, so, we've seen so far, like, pretty, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna say expected outcome at the moment, but it's one of these matchups where it's all in the scuffle, right, guys? Um, so we have Skip dipping off, and now Nick is coming back. Hell yeah, what a treat this matchup is like this. I was just saying, what a rival we, we have here. A rival we. A rival we. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna wooze all my progress. <laughs> I'm gonna wee webs. <laughs> I'm gonna wee webs? <laughs> oh, grab ledge! Okay, that's fine. Uh, right back there from uh, the cloud. Yo, I don't what think do you think he can take. Edge guards, by the way. Uh, they're pretty good. I think the cloud's strength is like the scramble. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't think Goody can take another loss from the cloud. I think it will crush Goody into dust. Uh, but, as, a, as an honorary Ooh. South Australian, I, I do want the to win. Oh, oh, okay. Back here. One more chance. Oh, so smart with a weak back here. And a great first game for McLeod on the board for Adelaide. Let's fucking go, South Australia. Any other South Australians in chat? If so, why are you not here? <laughs> <laughs> do I still have this one? I do. Let's go. Hell yeah. Raise the shield grab the cloud. That rarely gets hit by those. Um, so you know, for the history books, we've seen McLeod 5-0 Goody in one orb fight night. Uh, money, what was it? A money match? But yeah, it was just like an exhibition, right? We've seen uh, these two play at Floating Point recently as well. Um, you've come off of a set with McLeod recently at the last major. I yeah. just want to know, like, what do you think Goody's going to have to be able to, like, do to be a overcome this wall? He's doing well so far. I mean, Goody's strength is that he's blazingly fast. He's blazingly fast and he knows situations, uh, knowing his brain in his hands. So, I think with a matchup like this, where he's a little less experienced, he's going to have to really temper that a little bit and uh, play a little more careful and considered. But, uh, honestly, doing amazing on this game. He just needs to not run into the wall. And uh, mm. McLeod for his for her part, sorry. Uh, <laughs> McLeod, yeah, McLeod, one of the best walls to ever do in Australia, especially. Like uh, even Ooh. even internationally, no one is as clean as McLeod. No, uh, absolutely. In not. terms of like just rapid fire getting hitboxes done. You know what? Yeah, you know what's crazy It's like you just get clipped once by like uh, you know something in the scuffle, and suddenly it's like 
Flood cancel, yeah, flood cancel fair, like just straight away into edge guard situation. I've seen um, McLeod like practice against, uh, like as part of her training regime, like against like 26XX CPUs for like 90 stocks in a row or whatever, right? And just being like, I'm gonna put myself in a situation where like no matter what, even if I'm under pressure, I'm gonna be able to like take something that's just like a random clipping and then convert into killing this space animal off stage. Yeah, the cloud is a true honest to god grinder. Uh, loves the boring shit. Loves playing puff pitch. <laughs> loves adversity. Loves the grind. And we have Skip back on the mic. Well, I love him. Yeah. Back uh, to me. The cloud took game one pretty clean. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Goody going pretty fuck wild. In this game. Oof. Shocked that McLeod managed to get a, a shield out there. Yeah, Goody was uh, four stocks to one just a second ago. Uh, um, many people have said that McLeod's last stock is among the hardest last stocks to take in all of Melee. In all of Melee? Yeah, she will not let go. Yeah. She will fight till the bitter end. That's the thing about uh, McLeod being a grinder, is she enjoys the adversity of being in a losing situation. So she just play it out and have fun. Yeah. Goody had to work so hard to just find that one strong back air for like 40 seconds and finally got there. Taking a second there. And where are we headed? FB, of course. This is a scary pick. McLeod needs to make sure every grab is a kill. Because uh, you don't really get it. You don't get the kill, you get the edge guard situation. Yeah, so good. this is going to be. Oh! Interesting. Okay, yeah. She still got it, but this is going to be like 100 damage. Something yeah. along those lines, and then some kind of like weak dash attack nair, or just a straight up nair. Goody's gonna be off stage regardless. Yeah, weak dash attack nair, there it is. Yeah, okay, and Goody with pretty good DI, honestly. And there Ooh, it is. What a choice! I thought she was gonna uh, back air or nair there. I thought something was coming, yeah, not that for sure. Okay, this is Goody time. Oh, oh and it phantoms. Unfortunate, but. He might not have got anything off of it regardless. And like, you think it's going to be easy to shell off Peach on FD, but there's still so much stage to uh, to land on. Yeah, it's insane. Just like, the so mix-ups mix that Peach yeah. has on the recovery, the drift, the floats, it's unreal. Okay, yeah, Goody having trouble uh, with the ceiling. Uh, uh, you love to see this as a South Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Defending home turf. Like, getting a grab at 153% and converting it to an edge guard situation, beautiful. Tried to mix up his DI there with the uh, F throw. Still manages to clean it. Oh! 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 Yo! That was good. That <laughs> ruled. Oh my god, that I don't think so I've, I've never seen that, I think. I don't see Peach go for like a grab ledge edge guard very often. Yeah, Peach's are, uh, I mean, Peaches usually are cowardly off the ledge. Uh, McLeod, though, knowing it's a guaranteed spot. That's crazy. And boom, there it is. Oh, it's so demoralizing to play on this stage as a fox. Yeah. And uh, forgive me if I don't sound demoralized. <laughs> uh, big South Australian. Oh! It's just one grab into one read, and that's the entire stock for Goody. Yeah. Oh no, she's looking rhyme to get a juicy amount of damage. And it really depends what kind of oh. Goody we're seeing today, whether Goody can come back from this. Because there are times where Goody will get Shadow Realm by a lot. He'll get super demoralized. And there are other times when uh, the fire never goes out. She read his uh, jump out of the corner with an up air. And that's that's it. All of that came from a jump read with an up air. And the technical term, I believe, is that she got his ass. Yeah. Freaking body. Can someone explain to me trot? Yeah, I don't know what the whole deal. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking well, too hot guys, to trot. Guys, do you like ponies? Um, <laughs> I'm ambivalent towards ponies. I have as many positive thoughts as I do negative ones. I think that they're a pretty cute animal. Did you know? Um, sorry, not to steal your thunder, Kai, but did you know there's a difference between uh, ambivalence and indifference? Yeah, ambivalence means you have opinions in both directions. Whereas indifference is you just simply don't have opinions. Uh, uh, fun fact for you, continue, thanks, guys. Thanks oh, great power shield down smash. <laughs> oh, was that, was that the whole just about ponies? Yeah, sweet. I do like ponies. <laughs> yeah, but 
Is that a real horse girl? <laughs> True. Oh! Goody's gotta dig so deep here. Down a game and quite a deficit here. Against just a wall of a peach. Just a real tank as far as the melee cast goes. An immovable object. Goody, Goody's in real fucking trouble right now, actually. Yeah, this is... Honestly, the favorite to, uh, to cruise to second for most people, I would say. Yeah. Goody had... I mean, funny that Goody snagged his zombie. Yeah. Because a lot of the time, back in the day, uh... I thought Don B was a lot better than he actually was because of the conversation surrounding him. <laughs> and and uh, are we seeing that history repeat itself? I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I have no, you know, that's not my take. That's just what I've heard on the grapevine. Many, some, some people are saying this. She has no jump right now. Many though. are saying this. Not necessarily me oh. or Patrick. <laughs> that stove is so hot right now, Nick. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh, great tech! Oh! Great coverage, though! McLeod There's one step levels. ahead. There's levels, Nick. McLeod, That's thank you. You're not on my level, McLe Goody. McLeod is on a higher one right now. You can't just mash recoveries in me. I'm freaking <laughs> cracked. I'm McLeod. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Friendship oh. is magic right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly reached the jump out. McLeod oh, army. Out. Just thirsty for blood right here. Yeah. Goody back against the wall, and uh, Goody needs this. I'm gonna say it. Okay. Oh! oh imagine that's for wow. instead of a Nair. If that was a Nair, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> one more chance here for Goody Gaming to take it to a game five. And Goody, one of the most clutch players in Australian history. Uh, great recoveries, great defense. Okay, gets out of the dare, and that's not just enough to get around the cloud. Jeez. Fucking go South Australia. Oh my god, that was just a statement from McLeod. She played unreal. And Goody saying how many times? He knows, the thing about these kinds of sets is he knows they're so winnable. He knows they're, uh, you know, they're his to take if he wants. And um, they can feel so bad, but he really has to pick himself up from this. Uh, the, thing, the thing about a tournament like this, as I see it, most likely everyone but Josh is going to end up in losers at some point. Yeah. But like he has to realize it didn't matter that much. Yeah, you're going to have to. He wants the free swing at Josh. Yeah. Because he can take sets. He took a set this past week mm -hmm. at a local. But 